Dulé, ni me sentin deske dinle, Yangla Saint Lawrence University United States na third year mathematics economics major dinle. Dulé samada, ni me sonam girme dinle, Yangla NIT Kruk Shetar ne civil engineering join dinle, and I'm currently in third year. Tene diringa ya yam puache kunzang dolma juxte nolle. Tene we are really happy that Lamstan Lamstan yam puache le shkote time pings denga yam po interview session ne fia shkote no. Tene Lamstan ne achele ya MBA dasa recently achele MBA graduate songs tenolle Northumbria University UK ne. Tene fia ma ya Lamstan ne chok ne achele fia congratulations. Tene achele Lam Lamstan school ne. First batch in our breakout ten standard graduates get the knock. Testing ni achele NIT Kruk Shetra ni under graduation just the knock le. Then ni achele Singapore la lo jong ani phala last year in our le. Then daksa daksa achele she's working as a senior analyst in Marina Bay Sands Company. Testing ni ngai ma thapu lak le kini ngai am puding achele shi get the knock. Thank you so much for that. It's my pleasure. Uh, and to start with the session, uh, Chile, uh, we'd like to first uh, like ask about your academic life and mm -hmm. like high school. Where did you, did you did you get into high school? How did you get into high school? Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, how did you get into Nadi Krukshetra as well? Mm -hmm. Like, please share your uh, academic life. Okay, sure. Just like all of you, I started my schooling in London School, yeah. and I was the first batch, like she mentioned, to mm -hmm. pass out from London School, and then I uh, moved on to. Uh, Jammu, where I did my 12th in a normal government school and after that I started Narissi Krukshetra. <coughs> um, I did my electronics and uh, communication there and in, then I was working in Delhi for like uh, five years and then I moved on to Singapore and I worked there for like 15 years like you mentioned and like in, um, in your life is not, never like you know, okay I finished my studies now I can you know enter the corporate world or whatever career you pursue and now it's done you know studies it's never there's never interest there's nev never never interest in studies so I yes. just and I was feeling like you know after being in the corporate world for 20 years I was like oh, no the education has changed a lot in the last, last 20 years yeah, sure. so I wanted to you know see whether I can you know I mean I wanted to prove myself basically yeah. you know because I had become a mom in those 20 years yes. and I had been working for so long and I was like feeling kind of you know, I was not feeling good about myself, so I wanted to prove myself, and then I did a did an MBA, yeah, yeah. and then I passed. Is is it got like a requirement or something that you? Not really a requirement. Like Sometimes you. you know what happens was I was at a very cushy job, cushy job for like fifteen years mm -hmm. in Singapore, and then suddenly my company was sold Intel, you know, and then Intel only wanted like thirty percent yeah. of the workforce, so I was like kind of laid off. Sure. So uh, in a corporate world, it's like always oh, like that. You, know, you have to be, you have to be like you know. You have to be. You cannot be dependent on anybody. You know, you have mm. to. You have to be dependent on yourself. You know. Yes. I mean, so like like they're saying, you know, you don't love the company, you love your job. Okay. You know? So when I when I was like laid off, you know, though I was like, I knew I could get a job and I easily got a job. But sure. then you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to see whether I can also you know, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, whether I, how is it? How's the you know education system now? So I took up the MBA with this. Uh, UK University called mm -hmm. Northumbria, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I mean I was in fact <coughs> the second in the batch to pass. You know, I was my I scored second in my batch. You know, so I was like you know. In the school. Not, yeah, school yeah, 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 okay, so sure. was, yeah. Okay, actually, uh, yes. next we would like to know what were your hobbies as a child, mm -hmm. and what did you really wanted to become as a child? Because yeah. not everybody ends up becoming yeah, what you really yeah, wanted to do yeah. as a child. Yeah. So yeah, actually growing up, though I like to read, but you know, at that time we didn't have access to much story books, you know, mm -hmm. because similar like that. I used to get one or two story books from my cousins who were studying, studying abroad. Yeah. Or, no, I mean not like abroad, they were studying in Dehradun or whatever. Mm -hmm. When this come for holidays, this gave me books and you know, then I used to really you know, devote those books during especially during the winter months, you know, when we are like hibernating, you know, there's uh -huh. nothing you can't really go out and yeah. play or whatever, you know. The books are the only Yeah, and then uh, yeah. other books. than that yeah, as a child, I wanted to become a doctor because I saw, like, I had cousins who were doctors or sisters, and we really, really didn't have access. Like, okay, either you become a doctor or an engineer. Sure. Then uh, slowly, when I was like around ninth standard, I saw okay, there was this technology coming up, and started giving mm -hmm. what you know, technology, you know, yeah, globalization. Yeah. And then I thought maybe engineering is the way because electronics and all was coming up in a big way. And then especially. For a girl, I thought, I mean, there were not many girls doing like engineering mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, so I wanted yeah. to do something different, you know. Mm -hmm. So I sure, thought, yeah. you know, yeah. So I thought, why all the guys are only doing engineering? You know, why not a girl? You know. Really so I thought, you know, yeah. I should also go and see. You know. Yeah, sure. That's really. Good.
so like um, uh, as you have mentioned like you you've been like you're working since 15 saal se aap kaam kar rahe hain like you 15 years you're working there now how would you find yourself in that field you know how's your feel interest basically and um, and share some success story what you achieved and like you really thought that i've done this thing like in your field on in your field itself and like i was saying, <coughs> i was telling you i was uh, i entered into engineering because it was not just in like that in fact in my engineering batch and uh, when mm-hmm. i went to and i and mm-hmm. i took rukshik yeah. also only i was only <coughs> in my like we have two three sections i was only girl everybody was like staring at you you know as if you were like you know some you know i don't know from another planet or planet or something you know but now it's like okay common girls are doing everything that guys are doing mm-hmm. yeah and then <coughs> sorry what was your question Yeah, how did you find yourself in your field? field yeah. Who motivated you or how did okay. you how Actually, did you feel in press basically or my interest, interest yeah how do you find like is it like uh is that like you know I know something like like I want this like ideal job or something there's no job called ideal job I would say yeah. like you know but whatever your job you take you have your strengths so you know you mm-hmm, use sure. your strengths to the best of uh-huh. yeah you know then then the, then there are some weaknesses which you have to overcome you know, yeah, and then you sure. try to work on your weaknesses and like i was very good in communication you know though i was from ladakh but my written writing skills were my yes, speaking yes. Uh, speaking is also pretty good compared to the okay. normal indians as well yeah. you know so i was mostly in communication related mm-hmm. you know? so i was yes. overseeing the publications for various corporate com- mm-hmm. and like big companies like felix semiconductors yes. you know which is, yeah so mm-hmm. actually wherever corporate what you enter you have to use your strengths to the so you know best nice. to your advantage you know yes. like, i want to share some like your success story you, you have done in that that session 15 years like you want to share any experience or something mm. any like interesting which can motivate the youth as well <laughs> yeah like yeah. i said uh, basically at the end of the day whatever dream you pursue now you don't pursue any career because your father said or mother yeah, said sure. you know your strengths mm-hmm. and weaknesses best and at the end of the day your parents want the best for you know it doesn't yeah. matter whether you're a government job or a private job sure. or you want to be entrepreneur also yes. mm-hmm. but you have to have the grit and determination you know and you know you will face a lot of setbacks along the way it's not a bed of roses you know there's a lot of thorns but mm-hmm. whenever you hear some this success story you only hear the good things you don't hear the how many times that person failed you know yeah. <laughs> so it's never going to be but for, for me also My father passed away when he was when I was like fifth in fifth or sixth standard. I can't do okay. anything because my dad passed away. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to make my mother proud, you know. Yeah, that's true. And I always wanted to. I didn't want to give her any anything. I mean, I didn't want her to feel sad because okay. of me. Okay. So I I excelled in studies after that, mm-hmm. you know, because I studied very hard because I knew from my end what can I do? I can study hard, and you know, that's the only thing in my hands, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so you had a like really else. decent uh, yeah. kind of professional life. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And. Uh, On top of that, actually, uh, we talked a little bit about how, right now, our parents, most of the parents, they push us for engineer, or doctor, because that's what they think is the ideal job, or that that's where the secure professional mm-hmm. life is. So, yeah. how do you feel about it? Because right now you're in the co- corporate world, mm-hmm. and then right now most of the Ladakhi, whatever they do at the end, they just want a government job because that's what they think is the secure. Yeah, if you place. really want, as a, you really want to be a doctor or engineer. is good you know but if you don't really want to be a doctor or engineer then to tell your parents why you don't want to become you know and what is the other thing that you have and if you get really convinced if you can't convince your parents and i don't think you can convince our support <laughs> okay, because they know you best you know mm-hmm. so but if you really have, i don't say you have to stick to yourself to be a doctor or an engineer or anything now in fact entrepreneurship is coming a big yeah, you know much the government are all they became famous in their 20s you know yeah. and now don't give the excuse my parents want me to be a doctor or my parents want me to be an engineer because that's what i did Yeah, mm-hmm. anything you know, but at the end of the day, your parents want the best for you, you know, mm-hmm. and they only know this much. But you know more, right? And you know what your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So it's up to you. You know, you cannot blame anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Then, um, uh, at the end, uh, I would like to like, <coughs> we'd like to ask you, uh, uh, as um, as you know that we always had a Lumsden mega event at the end to conclude the whole session of. Mm-hmm. Another career festival, like what I, 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 lo, you know, a career festival, you know, like, how conclude now? Because we chose like mega event, it chose like that. Mega event, like basically we like invite all the uh, students from different schools, and um, for that we want you to like, uh, which uh, advice, um, go like we can showcase in that hour. Yeah, uh, I would just like to say that. Uh, 
you should follow your passion <coughs> and your dream, you know, whatever okay. it is. And, and don't restrict it to government job or yeah. doctor or engineer. Why, why your parents are saying it is because they have, their knowledge is very limited. Yeah, you limited. Know? And they think, okay, I want a very stable, but even in the government, there's nothing called stability. You know? Stability is And there's secure. nothing is secure, you know. Secure. I mean, and they, you know, nothing is for granted, mm -hmm. you know. Even the government job is not for granted. And, and your nothing is, performance what your parents want is you mm -hmm. to, do you have a stable, no ups and downs, sure. nobody, your parents don't want any setbacks or anything, sure. anything for you, that's why they're saying it. But what, I mean, especially the initiatives that Namsan's taking is very good for kids who don't have proper guidance, because in Ladakh, many parents might not be so educated. Right? Sure. So people who are coming from not so um, good background, especially no. in terms of no academic, children. you know, the parents don't know what to choose. Yes. It's nothing, 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 nothing. The kids keep on studying, <laughs> but you don't know why you're studying, for what purpose, yeah. you should have a purpose to study. Mm -hmm. There's no point in studying hard, and you don't know. What's the output, right? Yeah. So you should have that ambition, okay, I want to do this, that's why I want to achieve that target, right? There's no point in you drive, you don't know where you're going to Sanskar or you, know, <laughs> you just keep on driving, there's no point in driving, right? So that's the thing, yeah. you should have that target and then you should follow it, you try to hit that target. Mm -hmm. Also, so, actually, uh, what advice or what do you feel about Langston uh, and what... Langston member as well. That's a good initiative and I would really say you're doing great, great job because rather than miss spending it, I mean, during your holidays, you're mm -hmm. not even, you know, you're doing extra things, you know, yeah. like for, I mean, like you're, yeah, you know. You're roaming around. Yeah, <laughs> rather than roaming around and meeting your relatives and yeah. all, yeah. you're taking this initiative of, you sure. know, really showing way or lumps then for the, you know, future yeah. uh, students of Lada, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ajale. We're Thank really you. happy that Ajale took her time Thank and gave us a little time and we, we will be sharing this interview with all of you. So thank you, Ajay. Thank you, thank you for thank having you so me. Much, yeah. Thank you guys.